Hey guys, Matthew with Tactical Comms here, and today I've got several questions about the jungle antenna. When am I going to talk about the jungle antenna? What's the plan for it? And so I thought, you know what, today would be a great day to start our video series on how to create the jungle antenna. Now I've been teaching you how that you can have the most expensive radio out there, but it does you no good if your antenna system is poor. So the jungle antenna allows us to take a handheld radio and turn it into more of a base station type radio. Now remember, when I think of the jungle antenna, I think of we've gone out into an area of operation, we've gone out into the field, the mountain, the trail, and we need a little bit more range than what our handheld can offer. And so we're gonna extend the range of that handheld using the jungle antenna. Now where can you find more information about the jungle antenna? Your favorite internet web search can tell you a lot, and it truly is called the jungle antenna, and there's actually some uh, open source versions of the Army regulations that talk about it. Now I want you to remember a number, 936. Remember that number, 936 is the, is the starting number we have to know to build the frequency or to build the antenna and cut the lengths of the wire. I'll include a description and a list of items that you can buy from Amazon to make up the jungle antenna. But let's talk about what those items are. The first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need coax. Now what I have here is I have just a roll of 25 foot of RG58 coax. Uh, you can buy these uh, in bulk. I usually buy a spool of, of coax and uh, build them myself cut to length. Or you can just buy your own. Now it doesn't have to be 20 feet. You could make it 15. You could make it whatever else. You want enough that when you raise the antenna up that you've got a little bit of length so you can move it over to a chair, a tent, uh, whatever you, wherever you've set up, but you want a little bit. I, from my experience, 25 feet seems to be a pretty good uh, limitation. It gets the antenna off the ground, gives me a little bit of, of uh, lateral play, and uh, also reduce the loss. Now, as I said, this is RG58. Uh, it is 50 ohm coax. Now, that's important. You can't go buy co uh, cable TV coax, 75 ohm. Uh, your antenna would be mismatched. Your radio needs to be 50 ohms. Your antenna needs to be as close to 50 ohms uh, so it's efficient and it's properly matched. So 50 ohm. Can you use RG8? Sure you could. It's just going to add more weight to your kit, more weight to your antenna system. So RG58 seems to be about a good match for it. Now your antenna needs to also needs to also include, for the parts list that I'm going to give you, it needs to include a BNC male on one end and a BNC female on the other end. Now that's important because the components of our antenna system are going to match up with each of, each of those. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need the proper adapter for your radio uh, because you're going to remove the factory antenna or your aftermarket antenna from your handheld radio and you're going to use the, the adapter in place of it. So you'll screw the adapter onto the top of the radio and then you'll connect your coax into, into this adapter. And B and C are just quick quarter turn connects and they work out just fine. I'll also go ahead and tell you, don't buy just one of these. Go ahead and buy you a couple because these things will run from you in the woods. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need what I commonly called a banana plug. Uh, the banana plug has a BNC male on it and one end of your coax will connect here, the other end will connect to your radio. You're going to need some ring terminals. Uh, I use, uh, got these off of Amazon. Uh, these are good, uh, they're heat shrink so they have good stability. They're uh, uh, quarter inch, I believe, uh, ring terminal. Uh, 12, uh, 12 10 wire goes in them, and uh, yeah, quarter inch ring terminal, 12 10 wire. And basically, you're going to use these to connect to your antenna, uh, to the, sorry, to the banana plug. And then you'll connect this to the wire. You're going to need some 18 gauge stranded wire. This is a Napa part number, some I've had left over from years and years. It doesn't have to be 18 gauge. 18 gauge just seems to be a, uh, a nice, uh, it's lightweight, it's small, takes up little space in your pack. Uh, so you, do, you could use larger, but again, it's going to be larger and it's going to weigh more, so you don't want to do that. Uh, make sure that it's stranded wire. And that's another important thing I forgot to mention. I was talking about the coax. Make sure your coax has a stranded center conductor. Uh, sometimes you'll find it's rare, but you'll find coax that has solid center conductor. You don't want that for our deployable kits because over time, that solid center conductor will become brittle and soft and break, and, and that's bad for us. 
for your first time out, I recommend eBay or uh, uh, Wireman or someplace, somebody that can properly install your connectors for you because if you don't have the proper tools to install the connectors properly, you're going to have problems. Uh, it'll pull loose from the connector or it'll uh, cause a short. It's it's bad. So look at the Wireman, look at Amazon, look at eBay, look for 25 feet RG58 and then you want a BNC male and a BNC female, one on either end. Okay. So when we get through our our antenna, our, our uh, BNC, our jungle antenna is going to look something like this. Now I'll show you a video of, uh, you'll, in my the side view you'll have uh, a copy or a picture of what it looks like going up and just mass. Now, let's talk about the 936. The 936 number is important because how do we know how long our wire needs to be? Our wire needs to be resonant. Now, we're building a quarter wave antenna by building this jungle antenna. So each of our wires, which we need four of them, we need one wire going from uh, the red side of our banana, the red side of our banana plug up, and then we have three wires that come down and form into a triangle using a handful of sticks. Now, the construction of the antenna will come later in, in part two of the video. Today is just the components of what you need. So 936, remember I told you this was important. Okay, 936, this is important. We're going to start with 936 and we're going to divide this by four. And that's going to give us a number of 234. Now remember this number. Now it doesn't matter what frequency you're building your antenna for, but 936 is where we start. We divide it by 4 because we want a quarter wave antenna. Now we're going to take 234 and divide it by the frequency that we intend to operate on. Now it doesn't have to be exact. You can make it whatever frequency you want, but we're going to try for 146 even. Now you could do 146.5, uh, assuming that you wanted it center tuned for 146.52, the calling frequency. But just for easy math, we're going to do 146. And that's going to give us 1.6027 39726. Don't round yet. Now we want to know how long that is in inches, so we're going to multiply that times 12. And that's going to give us roughly 19 and a quarter inches. I mean, we're just a little less than that, but 19.23 inches. Now remember, our, our measurements for our antenna have to be electrically exact. And what I mean by that is, is each of our wires need to be the exact same length. And we also need to include a little bit of extra so that we can wrap around the bottom of our triangle when we build that. Now that's coming in part two, but it's important. Once you get your wire, don't cut it just for 19 and a quarter inches. I want you to go ahead and cut it for 20 and a quarter. We're gonna add one inch to it, so that'll give us a little bit of extra to play with. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to put all these components together and build the antenna, and then how to test that antenna to make sure it's gonna work. I think we'll find it to get us close, but it's not going to get us exact. We need some other testing equipment that's going to be that we're going to need to make that work. That's why I tell you I want you to know how to build the antenna so that when you're in the field and it doesn't work, you know how to correct it. Matthew with Tactical Comms. Stay tactical.